Hello everyone, this is Kathleen, and I'm so glad to be here this morning to share this journal. I think it's turned out really fun and um, very vintage and love the way that all this fiber looks and little paint splatters on the back cover. Yeah, two signatures. I've done several things with you in this journal, so there are some videos associated with this, but yeah, just every little dream. And this is a vintage postcard of Horseshoe Falls in Niagara. Yeah. So this is lots of tucks here for little pieces of paper, kind of like a pile up here of papers. Here's a fold-up pocket. This is just a copy-dyed piece of stationery. A bit of a collage there. Here is the fold-back pocket and a little copy-dyed index card. Stained paper. Everything in this journal kind of relates vaguely to children, which is kind of serendipitous since this is Mother's Day coming up. Here's that little um, fiber cluster. So I have some vintage children's book pages in here. Another piece of stained paper to journal on and I've used um, the top of a vintage envelope 1904 to Mrs. S.B. Vaughn. Some nice little collage here. Here's that ribbon glued down the side of that little paper bag. Some mixed media there. This is an over-the-page journal paper with a pocket, so it just slips over the page like that. Here's a couple of pieces of ephemera, slides in there, lemon drops, how fun, it sounds, it sounds good right about now. This is just a ribbon on this um, it's a little collage with this cute little gentleman and I have made um, just this journaling tag with some bread and jam fabric ruffle here here's this um, tag we made with the last tag template and another just little journaling card paper. Here's the first layered shorts, collected poems. is that um, Z fold element that we made together. A little vintage card there and 
little notebook on either side. A couple little pieces of ephemera here. Some paper to journal on and it slides in there. Let's see if I can figure out how to get this back. Oh, I think I did it this way. Yeah. And this bent paper clip just holds all of that on. On this side there is a little piece of vintage ephemera. Here is that um, tag template that, that we did. Yeah, this. It's more um, ruffled silk there. This is just um, an embossed uh, window envelope recycled. And here's just a... Um, a collage card so I I have included just a couple of little um, here at the beach here so just a couple of little beachy kinds of things here's this um, playing card again with some ephemera tucked in here is this um, extreme cutout tuck that we did. There's a, a video about that too. Many of these um, videos will be in the the pocket um, pattern playlist. Here's an over the page flip, and I think we might have done this together also. So here's lots of room for journaling. And then it just folds over and goes over the page on this side. And here's a little journal card pins on on this side. All the world is beautiful. I really love that. It was um, a vintage postcard, and I just have glued it here as a tuck. And there's a, a vintage receipt. Here's a, an envelope flip out on this side. Just a little calendar page tucked in there. And here's a little, just some kind of a little tiny postcard. Yeah, slip that in there. Here's the other part of the layered shorts. And finally, another vintage postcard, Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I love that. In that pocket, and then here, this is that beautiful fabric ruffle. Yeah, that's it, the last and the back. There is my Bunny Brown journal, and this is going to be sold on Etsy, so I will put a link below to my Etsy shop. Thanks so much for your interest. I hope there was some good ideas in there for some of your own journal projects. I appreciate your time today, and we'll see you again with another project.